what's up, you two? We're back! You look at my screen. You see 400,000 Stelugs. You see 103 Matt Chapmans who are worth 3,600 each. You see 160 Supercharged 99 overall Bo Bichettes for 2k each. You see millions and millions of Stelugs spread out through my entire binder. 145 of this guy. You got Bozos all over the place. And today, I'm going to show you the best way to make Stelugs this week. Today! And it'll be the show. Today is the perfect time to do it. Tomorrow is the perfect time to do it. It's never going to stop. Throughout the entire year, this stun method will work. Oh, Bryson Stott's looking like a good buy right now. I might have to just jump on that after this video. All right, so I'm going to talk about how to make millions of stubs. And I'm talking about in one day. I'm talking about today, tomorrow, the next day. I can make you guys hundreds of thousands of stubs quickly, super fast, and it's really simple, really easy method. So it's all through the roster update, platform predictions, and all that stuff, all that good stuff. Smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. I mean, really just watch the other roster update videos to see how roster updates work. I'll go super quick over it. If you're looking at a guy like this, uh, Brandon Woodruff, he's injured, so he's not he's not getting an upgrade. But he's, right now he's quick sell. <clears throat> he's 1,500 subs to buy. I could put in the buy order for 1,500. I get him instantly. And then let's say even though he's injured and his arm is like, you know, bionic, he's he's not able to pitch for the next foreseeable future. Probably not till the All-Star break, if then at all. Um, but let's say he, you know, he is able to pitch. He pitches a couple of shot games, gets a plus one. Now he's an 85. Double your stubs right there. 85 overall, quick sales, 3,000. Double the stubs. There was zero risk because if he, if he, you know, pitched with a, a noodle for an arm, a pool noodle, and he was, you know, throwing 60 mile per hour ephesus down the middle, uh, there's no risk because before the roster update happened, I would have been able to quick sell them all for 1,500 stubs and we would have been good to go. No harm, no foul. So the way to make the stubs though is to be smart with who we're putting the stubs into because buying a guy like Brandon Woodruff, he ain't going up. He doesn't have an arm. So you want to buy people that first off aren't going to get a downgrade because if they get downgraded, you lose stubs. But that's, that's really easy to avoid if you're smart. Uh, and if you've been watching the channel and you bought Shane Bieber and SDS shafted you, I don't know what to say because that was pretty funny. Uh, I sold my Shane Bieber's as soon as I saw him give him nine hits versus the Nationals. I got so mad. I was like, wow, give him nine hits to the Nationals. Uh, that's a whole different story, though. But I'm, I'm talking about these are the cards right now that I like that you can buy easily right this, right this instant. Use this method, make tons of stubs. So I have a bunch of uh, investments myself that I did as soon as the last roster update hit. Before that, I've already made my millions and millions of stubs. Um, so I'm doing my thing. But right now, there's a couple guys that are already up in price. The guys that are already getting upgrades, look at this. Sonny Gray, an 81 overall uh, uh, quick sell value is 600 stubs. He's already 2,000 stubs. You don't want to buy guys like this because they're already overpriced. Not necessarily overpriced because he is getting an upgrade, but there's just not much profit to be made. So you, you want to look at guys that have First off, zero, really low risk and really high upside. Guys like Nico Herner. Nico Herner, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, don't care. Uh, you know, comment the pronunciation in the comments. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty funny. Uh, it's, it's funny that I'm actually not able to pronounce it because, ba bam, I have 168 of them. Uh, I bought all these at 400 overall, at 400 quick sale value, I think. Um, I bought them at super, at quick sale. I know he already got an upgrade, um, but I don't see him stopping. He's already, he's still batting above 300. If he can get a higher OPS, his power will go up. Super low risk, and as long as he keeps tearing it up, there's not much downside to this, only upside. That's not the main cards I, I would suggest right now. I'm looking at guys like Framer Valdez. He has a sub three ERA. He's putting up a lot of strikeouts, and you know, he's not much downside. You know, he's not giving up too many hits, not giving up too many walks. He's been basically mediocre in those categories. And a couple more electric starts with high strikeouts, he's gonna get an upgrade and it's low risk. And then my favorite cards is what we're gonna talk about right now. We're looking at guys like Hunter Green. Hunter Green, look, what's his price? Quick sell. He's 400. Hunter Green is 400 stubs to buy, and I have 364 of them. So I have 120,000 stubs put into this Hunter Green, and why do I have that? Well, let's look at his stats in real life. His stats in real life, he has a 2.89 ERA, which is really good, especially for a young guy like him. 28 innings pitched and 40 strikeouts. SDS, San Diego Studios, really likes pitchers who get a lot of strikeouts and he's averaging over one strikeout per inning. He has 28 innings, 48 strike, 40 strikeouts, and he's playing super well. Last start was against Oakland, so take that with a grain of salt. But he had five innings pitched, gave up only five hits. He has been walking a couple guys, but he had 10 strikeouts through five innings. 
and he threw over 100 pitches. Um, let's look at his stamina. Stamina 77, he threw 100 and something pitches, 113 I think, against the Athletics. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not really sure if they upgrade stamina frequently for guys like this. Uh, usually, it's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only positional changes. They might do stuff like that. It's really more the like K's per nine, hits per nine, walks per nine. Um, but looking at it, he's walked 11 batters in 28 innings, which isn't that bad for a starter. That's about 0.5 per innings pitched. I mean, it could be a little better. His home runs per nine, though, and his home runs per nine is 47. So really, it's about how many home runs has he let up this season. He's let up 0.3 home runs per nine innings. A 0.32 home runs per nine is very good. That's less than one per game, way less than one per game. So why does he have a 47 home runs per nine? I'm looking at that stat to go up. I'm looking at his case per nine at 78, and he just had a, a start with five innings pitch and 10 strikeouts. I'm looking at the K's per nine that can go up. Now we look at the hits per nine. Hits per nine, 7.79 for his career. Uh, this year, 9.32. So his hits per nine, that honestly could come down. His hits per nine, he hasn't been great, so 64. I'd say 64, that's fair. If anything, it'll come down, but I'd say 64 is fair. So that's how I predict Hunter Green's stats changing. His home runs per nine needs a boost with the way he's been playing. And even his Ks per nine, that could get a boost too. It definitely isn't getting a downgrade. Walks per nine, 63, pretty fair. Home hits per nine could come down. So looking at a guy like this, Hunter Green, if he has a couple good more starts, I'm pretty sure he faces the Cardinals tomorrow. And starting pitchers, they go up in value the day they pitch regardless of how they're performing just because people want to watch the game and be invested in the player. So his price will probably be up at 450 tomorrow, uh, sell now. And it'll probably be like closer to 500 by now, just before the game. And I'm pretty sure he's facing the Cardinals who have the worst record right now. They do have a good hitting team, I think. I don't know how they have the worst record, um, but just stuff like that, like he, he's in a good position. It's going to be his last time before the update. And regardless of whether or not he goes off tomorrow or not, it's a good card like this to buy and you want to find more of them. Let's say tomorrow he has 10 more strikeouts. He's getting an upgrade. And I turn my 400 stubs per card into 600, into 900 per card long term. And I have 300 of them. So that's a bunch of stubs made right there. A couple other cards that I like. We can look at my completed orders so you guys can believe me. First off, Jack Flaherty. Oh my God. I had over a thousand Jack Flaherty's and I'm pretty sure he gave up 10 runs today. In two innings? 10 runs in two innings? What are you doing? He sucks. So I sold them all off. I, I was trying to sell them off before. I, I smelled blood in the water, so I sold them off quick. Um, but Brandon Nimmo is a guy I've been buying, as well as Austin Hayes. I've been buying Brandon Nimmo and Austin Hayes. So why am I buying those guys? Let's look at them real fast. Brandon Nimmo, another guy identified from this method. He's quick sell. He's a quick sell value card, 80 overall, and his stats in real life. This season, he's hitting 302, which is above his career. 302 and 116 at bats. His OPS is 0.825. Yeah, that's not great. But looking at his stats, there's room to improve on both sides of the ball. And I just think that 302, they're not going to downgrade him, right? He's playing well, and if he if he if he has a couple of hot games, he could be keen for an upgrade. And he's at quick sale value, which this close to the update period is hard to find. Then we look at a guy like Austin Hayes from the Orioles. The Orioles have been a hot team and swinging the bat well. Quick sale value as well, zero risk. I can sell him up before the update if he starts playing like trash. He's got four homers, a .85 OPS, and he's batting 293. He's cooled down in his last couple games. Uh, in his last seven games, he's only hitting 240, which honestly, I like that. I think that might be a part of the reason why he's quick sell. Um, you can see he's had some high points later on, like in in the early April. I think he was supercharged at one point, which is where why he was at a thousand stubs per. So look look for him to get hot again, right? There's no risk. They're not going to downgrade a guy who's hitting close to 300, most likely. So there's zero risk and a lot of upside to make stubs there. Now we're going to go through my inventory personally. I mean, I already showed you most of those guys over on that side of the, uh, the inventory binder. So looking over at this side, I don't have any Giants players. I was invested in Bogarts. I think Bogarts will go higher. Uh, subscribe if you want Ross Arthur predictions. So you can stay tuned for those who I actually think is getting upgrades as we get closer to the period. But a lot of the guys, we got Hunter Green right there. We just went through him. Why is such a good buy? Herner's a good buy. Stro I like Strowman. Strowman right now, Strowman's quick sell. And he's been playing very good ball. Uh, his earned run average is pretty low. We just need to get more strikeouts, get the Ks per nine number up. Then we got Manessis. I, I think Manessis, he's been hitting the ball very well. If you can get him close to quick sell, I think, you know, his OPS, his power could get reduced because he's hitting a lot of singles. 
but his batting average, it's been improving and he's getting hot closer uh, as the season progresses. And then I got a bunch of Phillies players. Alvarado, Alvarado gave up two earned runs. Eh, were they earned? And Mundo Sosa made the worst attempt uh, to field a ball I've ever seen in my life. And it was ruled a hit, even though it should have been an error. But he basically has zero earned runs on the season, except for those two uh, yesterday. Alvarado strikes out two batters per inning, nutty. He could get an upgrade by the dip. Matt Strom, he got shelled against the Dodgers. Uh, but once he gets back to a reliever, he might go up, he might go down off the sea. Stott, I like this buy. Look at his stats. He's one of the best hitters in the Phillies right now. And then I got like Brendan Marsh, a little bit too late. Nick Castellanos, by the dip. Maybe he'll have another hot streak and get a nice little boost. So that's how you want to make stubs right now, quick and over the show. Any, any questions, comment down below. Smash the subscribe button.